Not as a lawyer and attorney general, you do understand how a lot of people say they helped cause the death of this woman. And there are all these words in your deal. They admitted that they, you know, they didn't use the word lie, but essentially lied, misrepresented, didn't do what they were supposed to do. And what they do is write a check that's roughly a fifth of what the state and federal government paid them to settle this case. I mean, you do understand how some people say we trust you, but it doesn't feel quite right. And, and, and it doesn't feel quite right because people don't understand, I think. And, and I understand why they don't, because we don't usually charge corporations with manslaughter. The law obviously is so outdated that it's useless. So that, that says that we don't do it. But I think if you step back for a minute and think about what do we do when we charge someone in the criminal justice system, a person, we look at intentional conduct. We look at an intent somebody forms. I'm going to shoot my wife. I'm going to shake my baby to death. I'm going to rob this bank. I'm going to steal money from my corporation. We go after people's intent. The exceptions to that drunk driving, the kinds of things that we by statute have criminalized because we say the behavior has become grossly negligent into wanton and reckless. Nobody in this instance intended to say, let's uh, make sure we mix up the glue so the tunnel ceilings will collapse. Nobody said, um, let's purposely um, cut out this invoice so that the slurry walls will be defective. There was no intent here. And I think that's important for people to understand. So now we're talking about behavior. Perhaps. No intent to lead to a death. There might have been an intent to slide by with something cheaper or shoddy. No question about that. But no intent that. to kill somebody. That's right. Okay. So now that's why we're talking about manslaughter. We're talking about behavior that was wanton and reckless and resulted in a death. And in that instance, the only thing that I can do to punish a corporation under Massachusetts law is a $1,000 fine. So if you say, well, they bought their way out of an indictment, yes. But that, I think, was a good thing in the sense that the indictment... Uh, would mean nothing to the Commonwealth. It would have meant very little to the family.